Right, so Dad just texted me on my phone and he's at the beach and he said it's really, really good. It's really nice and sunny, blue waters, really clear and calm. And I'm not going to bother doing my hair or anything. I've just got to get my rod and get out there and start try and catch some fish. So what I do is I just give it a couple reels and just give it a little twitch. A couple reels at medium speed and you twitch. Sometimes you can go really, really fast. That's how I looked at looked out a last time. Reel, give it a twitch. Reel, give it a twitch. Just keep doing that and eventually you just get smashed by a salmon and you it. Yep! <laughs> just like that. I'll explain. Little one. Yeah. Little one. Look at that. Little baby one. But that is how I caught those other ones. So there's a quick tip for you guys, and hopefully you can catch some salmon like this. Alright, so funny you guys. The little one coming straight towards me. Really, you mean? And little baby. Look at that. That one on the board. Woohoo! Alrighty, so me and Dad just hook up at the same time. Double hook up. Two massive good sized salmon. They are biting like damn out here. Holy double hook up. That is just bad. Alrighty, so this salmon just engulfed the whole entire hook. You can see it's run right inside its mouth. It's hooked right through the bottom there. So the salmon was not getting out anytime soon. Watch out this wave. And I'm gonna try and get this out without him biting me. It's pulling really hard. You keep catching the line so he doesn't pop off. So he just tries to get off there. Just gotta wait till the wave comes. I can wash him in with it. Anyway, and that'll be really good eating. You see, when he foul hooked these salmon, see that? That's a spoon that the hook went in. So, why it feels so hard is that you're pulling it on the side and not from head first, so you're dragging the whole fish sideways. That's why it feels so hard to pull it in. But it's a great fish anyway, I'm really happy with it, so let's get some more. Alrighty, so overall we had a really good session. We caught eight salmon here, really nice sizes. So we're gonna clean these fish up now and I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Alrighty, so we're in the kitchen now and we've decided to cook the fish in the oven. So we're gonna preheat this to 160 degrees Celsius, just like that. And we're gonna cook the fish for around 30 minutes. So let's get the fish prepared. These are the two salmons we're going to be cooking up today. We're going to do a nice butter garlic cook and probably put them in the slow cooker so it's really nice. Alrighty, so now I'm going to separate the rest of these and probably give some away to our family. And the ones that are spare, we'll put them in the freezer. We've got some foil here and we're going to put this in our glass tray. So we're just going to lay out there and get our baking paper, put it on top and the fish is going to go on the baking paper because you don't want the aluminium seeping into the fish while it's cooking and it's really bad for you to eat that so that's why I've got the baking paper 
So we're gonna battle this fish up and put it in there. Alright, so I got a nice decent size salmon here and we're just going to put the butter inside and on the outsides and some people might put slits in the fish like that but we don't want to do that because um, it can like get out heaps of moisture and let out heaps of moisture and we're going to keep all the moisture in by not doing the slits so all the juices can stay inside the meat. So I've got my garlic, my spring onion, and my bottles of fish. So I'm gonna get my garlic, just sprinkle it over the top. I'm not gonna be really fancy or anything. Just put some inside the fish, just like that. A little bit on the bottom. Get the rest of it from the top, just like that. Make a nice flavor. Then we'll get the spring onion and. Um, on the top like that, bottom and inside the fish, and when that cooks up, that's going to be really, really nice. So we want to keep this moisture in as much as possible, so we're wrapping this fish up real nice. In about 30 minutes and the fish is ready so we're gonna pull the foil off you can see that butter in there oh mate look at that holy look at that look how good that looks all the butter's melted let's do it Fork just goes straight into the meat. It's a nice little chunk. So I'll put it in the butter. Mm. That is so good. Really, really juicy. Because we didn't put the slits in it, and it's like really, really nice with that butter. That is a really good success. Alrighty, so I hope you like this video, guys. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, and watch my other videos. See ya.